Greetings and welcome to Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. The Fountain of Youth is a mythical, let me reiterate that word, the Fountain of Youth is a mythical spring that supposedly restores the youth of anyone who drinks or bathes in its waters. Tales, I'll reiterate that word as well, tales of such a fountain have been recounted around the world for thousands of years. Explorers and adventurers have looked for the elusive fountain. Uh, did I make mention it was an, an elusive fountain? Some dedicating their lives to this venture. Sometimes we're like that today. I think about the cosmetics industry. I think about the diet industry, the, dietal, the dietary supplement industry, billion dollar industries just to make us look younger and maybe live a little longer. I have the answer. You don't have to go out and go all across the world to find some mythical fountain that doesn't actually exist. You don't have to spend a billion dollars on cosmetics, diets, and dietary supplements, I have the answer for not just looking younger, for not just longer life, but I actually have the answer for eternal life. In John chapter 17, here's what John writes, and this is eternal life, that they may know you, the one true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Think about it for a moment. We really do spend a lot of money, a lot of time invested in looking younger, in being able to act younger, to do the things we desire to do longer in life, to live longer, and yet one day, one day, we will die. But we don't have to. Oh, our physical bodies may be laid down, but that which is really us, that which causes others to love us and that and others which cause us to love them, their soul, their spirit, that which causes them to have that sense of humor, their own particular personality, their soul and their spirit can live on forever. In fact, it will. The question is, where will that soul and spirit live on? And the Bible says eternal life is through knowing the only true God and Jesus Christ, the one who God sent, his only begotten Son. Jesus says it this way, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father except by me. And then the Bible says in Romans 10, 13, for whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The word call there is to pray. And the Bible says for whoever would pray to the Lord and calling out in prayer that he would forgive our sins and save our souls, that he would give us eternal life in his presence in heaven where there are no more sin, no more sorrow, no more tears, no more death, but eternal life. We don't need a fountain of youth here on this earth that may, even if we could find it, even if there was really one that existed, might cause us to look better for a moment, but then later we'll die. We need the assurance of an eternal life without sins, without sorrows, without death. And only through Jesus may we find that eternal life. And this is eternal life, the Bible says, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. My prayer for you today is that you would know personally the one true God and Jesus Christ, the one who was sent to die and to be raised again to pay for our sin. Would you make him your savior today? Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for your big, amazing, marvelous, infinite grace that if we will call upon you that Lord it won't be a matter of just looking younger it won't be a matter of just living a little longer but Lord it will be a matter of eternal life 
in your presence in heaven. May someone call on you today. And Lord, when they do, may they let someone else know to confess that you are our Savior and Lord. Thank you, Father, for that love. We ask now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and have a great day in the Lord.